So, Bender, aka the owner of Deflect, gave me the best in Slack gear set. However, this isn't free because I do have to pay him at 300 mil every single week in order to pay off my debt to him. If I don't, he's going to take one of my gear pieces back and make me wear something stupid for an entire week. If you want more information about this, check out episode one. But if you already know everything, let's just go ahead and get into the episode. Today's video has a $50 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then make sure to comment your in-game name below in the comment section. And if you want to play Deflect for yourself, make sure to click the link in the description in order to join their Discord channel, and then you can install the game from there. So in about three hours, Bingo is going to be starting. I'm just kind of killing time waiting until the beginning of Bingo. As you can see from my inventory, I'm doing a little bit of dark fire, and also we have 15 second cat timers right now, which means I have a lot of cat keys coming into the account, and I'm going to be able to kill a lot of cats for books as well. I'm going to continue doing this and doing dark fire, and I'll probably update you once Bingo goes live because there's nothing really to make content around right now. I'm just kind of doing stuff. If I do get a dark fire orb, I'll update you, but pretty much anything else, I'm just going to hold on to, and maybe I'll mention like how many books I get or whatever, but not really too much going on. I'm just playing the game. One quick thing I do want to actually mention with these new cat kills, even though they're 15 seconds long, there's no grace period. So as soon as the cat spawns in, it's fair game and the HP is going to go down very quickly. So you need to make sure you're clicking fast just so you don't miss out on any other kills. And the best way to do that is to put on the entity hider, which you can just toggle on over here and check what you want to hide. I definitely recommend doing that because when the cat spawns in and there's a lot of people here, I mean, you could just see there's so many, but when you hide that, you can actually see as soon as the cat spawns in and then you're able to click on it right away and you don't have to wait or like try to find it or anything like that. Just thought I'd mention that because the kills are quick and a lot of people are missing out on kills and it's kind of hard to see the cat queen. So just turn on the entity hider and you should be fine. Okay, so Bingo is going to be going live in about 20 minutes. I got a bunch of books from cats and I got a bunch of cat keys from the cat queen. I'll be opening all these and getting a lot of money from it. I also sold these books from the last episode for 51 mil. So I'm making a lot of money just from the cat queen right now. There's a lot of spawns coming in. The weekends have a bunch of spawns compared to the weekdays. So yeah, making a bunch of money not really doing anything though i'm just afk and cat kills but that's fine by me i guess and speaking of keys i've also racked up a pretty decent collection of these keys while killing the cats just passively because people were opening a bunch of boxes as well so i'll get free dark fire points from this let's just go ahead and bank everything and then pull out the keys and repeat this process like 10 times and now after all of that let's go ahead and check my dark fire points i have 15,388, which means i can head over here to the dark fire shop and and get one of these books. It doesn't really matter which one I get since I already have them all claimed. So let's just go ahead and get the melee one just for now. And that will be one less item I need for the collection log. I know I said I wasn't really going to show too much stuff leading up to bingo, but I guess I did. I guess there was a few things I wanted to talk about and show. I don't know. Anyways, bingo is going to start in like 10 minutes. So I'll just skip to that. Okay, so apparently there's going to be 135 cats and 90 Kaisers spawned when the server restarts. I don't know who's opening the the boxes but daily fox says somebody is showing it off in the discord channel and if that actually happens that's going to be insane because i will make my 300 mil within like two or three hours just killing those things and then i have all of bingo to grind extra drops so that's going to be pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. And not even just from the keys, but also from the $1 books that I'd get from the normal cats. There's already five hours available for killing these cats right now. And if all those other cat boxes got opened up, then this would be increased by 11 more hours. So 16 hours, basically, of just straight up cat kills. If I grinded the entire 16 hours, I might even be able to get a thousand books. Maybe not. I'd probably go on a dry streak at some point, but I mean, I would get close to a thousand books. Of course, I'm not actually going to be able to do that. I would more than likely just do a couple of hours here or there, but I will be getting hundreds of books from this. Okay, maybe there was some sort of like mid update tweak or something with the Cat Queen, but now even though it's spawning within 15 seconds, it still has the grace period. So it's um it's a little bit different now than it was earlier. So maybe the whole entity hider thing isn't really necessary. I don't know. I'll leave that in the video just in case. You never know how things are going to be in the future, but I'm pretty sure earlier it was just spawning in and dying instantly. Just finished up all those cat kills i did get 123 cat keys which is absolutely insane i did miss a few though so that kind of sucks but yeah i'm gonna open these up and get filthy rich and then we can start with bingo and after opening those up i have basically 151 dollar books which is insane and even more importantly i got millions of burns from this i mean there's just items absolutely everywhere so i could technically even just sell the burns i could turn them into scrolls and sell them not really that important in my opinion because i'm pretty sure i've already made enough money for my 
bender 300 mil payout but it is nice to know that i have plenty of burns if i need it in the future and beautiful all of my books just sold i got 62 mil from that insane shout out to the cat spawns they are crazy this is going to put me up to a total of 251 mil so one advanced crystal drop two nirvana drops or like three or four rift crystal drops and i will be fine if i get any of those drops within those amounts then i will be able to pay bender back my 300 mil should be pretty damn easy i'm actually going to try to get even more than that so i can earn extra money for upgrades i do want to get more than just 300 mil i do need to make extra cash to get more upgrades because there's still more to get i honestly thought i was coming towards the end of these big purchases but every couple of days i find something else new that i haven't gotten yet the elixir and the pendant i have to go back to the smeckle shop because a new item was put there i still have to get my nirvana frog and i still gotta do prestigious after all of that so at first it seemed like i was gonna be able to you know save up a little bit of cash but there's just always something new to get when it comes to all the blood money that i have to spend on these upgrades and items that's not even the last of it because i still do have to get my donator rank up higher if i want to be the strongest account i could possibly be and start start farming up these advanced skills or nirvana kills rift kills whatever it is then i definitely have to get a higher donator rank because you get a lot of extra damage when you do that and i could get it for free just by saving up my kills from cats and just grinding that a bunch or i could just save up some blood money go to the tp and buy like 700 books at a time it would be a little bit over 300 mil to do that but that's not like the biggest purchase i've ever made so it is reasonable but yeah that's the final thing so all those items all the new smeckle stuff all the elixirs pendants all that i have to get that and i also have to get a bunch of donator ranks so i still do have a bunch of stuff to buy so if you've ever watched my channel you probably know i go off topic very often and it's not on purpose it's just that you know i got a lot going on and there's a lot i want to do but instead of showing off just a couple of hours of advanced raid from today i think it would be very cool to put the entirety of bingo this weekend into one video so i might just hold off on the posting for today and tomorrow and then just on sunday upload a massive mosh pit of drops and upgrades that I've gotten throughout the weekend. I haven't done that yet, so I think that would be pretty fun. So I do guess the rest of this video is just going to be drops and upgrades that I get throughout the entire weekend. I'm not going to put any filler in, and for the rest of this video, it's just going to be straight gains. And my first step here is to actually just buy a 10% magic damage boost from the Darkfire shop. So that means I only have one more item. If we look here at the collection log and go to Darkfire, then all I have to get is just the 10% range damage book and and then, of course, that damn Darkfire Orb. I'm up to 600 kills and I still don't have it. But yeah, let's get some more progress. Something else is going to happen in the next clip, too. It's going to be great. And there it is. Our first advanced crystal of the video. I can almost guarantee there's going to be more because I'm doing hundreds of kills within this single video because it is the entire weekend of bingo. So you're going to see more of these more than likely. I did just complete the Darkfire Dragon Chest because I've been using all of my Divine Keys just to try to get some Darkfire points. So I got a $10 book and a Nirvana box from that just got an icon of dark fire and normally that's nothing really too great i can't really sell it for much and it's not good for the collection log but i do get five dollars in books as a bonus bingo reward so that's kind of the only reason why i'm showing it right now five dollars and there's another icon so that's another five dollars ten dollars in icons from dark fire very nice i do need my orb though I need that goddamn orb. And there we go. Another crystal coming in at 516 KC. I don't know what I started with, but I do think I was at like 440 kills to start today. So I've done quite a bit already. That's now my eighth crystal. And all I need from the collection log is a $1 book and the advanced dragon seal. So I'm almost there. Not really because the advanced dragon seal is one in 1000. So it's going to take a long time to get that more than likely. But if I get lucky, I could finish this up soon. Wow, dude, that is another icon drop from Darkfire. I can get anything I want from this boss. I just cannot get the orb. I've gotten four handles, two stocks, and like 12 icons, but no orb. Come on, 740 KC, no orb. I don't know what the drop rate is, but I know I'm getting a little bit unlucky with the distribution of my drops because I get everything besides an orb. And you know what? One kill after getting that icon, I do now have 10,000 Darkfire points, so I need to get the magic damage booster. And let me just double Double check. I think I have melee and ranged already. I need to get the magic one, right? Oh no, I need to get the ranged one. Okay, okay. So that could have been.
have been bad. Anyways, let's go here and get the 10% range damage book. Let's buy that. And now all I need is that damn orb and then the collection log will be finished. I have 13 out of 14. Just need to get the orb. Just that one final thing that's been gatekeeping me from this collection log. Once again, another icon. This is getting kind of crazy, I can't lie. Where am I at right now with my KC? I'm close to 1,000. I'm at 957 with no orb. I know a lot of people go dry here, and some people have experienced the same thing. It's honestly not too rare, but it is crazy that I keep getting these icons, but no orb. I mean, I even have a handle here. This is like my second or third that I've gotten in this session, and I've also gotten a stock too, so this game is just enjoying messing with me right now. Do I have to keep bringing this up? I think I'm just going to ignore all the icons from now on because this is five now. Now, I'm at a thousand KC basically 995 so I'm gonna do five more kills and then I'm gonna be done I just feel like I'm wasting a lot of time here because it is bingo and the only thing that I would get from getting my orb drop is a $100 book and I could sell that for like 40 mil maybe or I could just go do advanced raids and get like 100 mil from a drop so even if I do get my collection log finished here I'm still not making as much money as I could uh, at other places so this right here is kind of a crazy twist to be honest I threw these crystals into the shop for 100 mil each and I did not expect them to sell at all I just kind of threw them up there just to say you know what whatever happens happens but they did sell I got 100 mil each for them so 200 mil from the advanced crystals that I've gotten so far during bingo and that's not even taking into account the books that I've earned from doing so. I was just going to try to get another crystal and work on getting this advanced pendant upgrade. I actually just went to the trading post to go withdraw the crystals so I could try to get one more, maybe buy one or get one from a drop and then come over here and make this. But they both sold and I got 200 mil. So uh, I'll take it. If I need to get crystals in the future, I'll just go buy them for a little bit cheaper. I mean, there's plenty of times that these crystals are like 60, 70 mil each and people are just trying to get rid of them. So yeah, big payday right there. Just finished up a bunch of advanced raid raids. Runs. I'm at 600 KC now. Like I said, I'm going to be getting a couple hundred kills throughout this episode. I've already gotten close to a thousand at Darkfire. So, I mean, I'm just rolling through these kills. I'm going to go ahead and buy my Guardian Relic for Magic now. This is a pretty big upgrade. I'm going to be getting a 10% Magic Damage buff. So let's go ahead and claim that. And I get a Rift Box. Okay, so Bingo just ended. After getting so many drops in just a single day, I kind of took it easy on Sunday. So I didn't really get much done. But I got my 105 books from my drops. Let's go ahead and redeem these rewards now i can actually sell these for quite a bit i think i started with just under 450 completed kills at advanced raid so now i have 611 i definitely put a lot of time into this raid specifically during bingo just to try to get crystals those crystals are really expensive right now because people are hoarding them so they can be prepared for the new raid coming out soon and i felt like it would be a waste of time to go to darkfire just to try to get an orb when i mean i've done a thousand kills haven't gotten a single orb and even if i got it i still would only get like 40 mil so it didn't make too much sense to do that during bingo but now that it's over and it's Sunday evening, I might as well just try a few kills before uploading this video. I was actually hoping to get a few drops from Nirvana. I did a few kills there as well, but unfortunately, I didn't get anything. But I still do think I got plenty of drops throughout the weekend. I wanted to put together like a, a mashup or a, whatever it's called, where I was just getting drop after drop. And I think I got plenty to do that, but I wanted it to be longer. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for a couple of Nirvana crystals. I really wish I would have kept those advanced crystals. I did say earlier that I was going to the trading post to grab them real quick but unfortunately they sold before I got there because they're rising up in price and I kind of want to keep them for my pendant and elixir upgrades I didn't necessarily want to hold on to them and sell them for more I just wanted to use them for upgrades and I did get 100 mil each for them which is nice but currently right now 100 mil each is actually a bit cheap it's crazy how fast things change last weekend I was selling those for like 55 mil and now they're like 125. I think I started the weekend by doing cat kills and I'm gonna finish the weekend by doing cat kills. I went back to Darkfire. I did a bunch of extra kills. I tried to get the orb. It's just not happening. So I'm gonna finish things off with these cat kills here. I'll open up everything and then we can check out the final loot when it comes to the entire weekend of bingo. I did end up getting two rift boxes from those cat keys and both of them gave me a divine staff of deflect. So I'm gonna upgrade this into a Darkfire staff and just sell this staff. That's just another like 15 mil that I'm going to be making this weekend. I also forgot to mention that I was going to be burning a bunch of items because
because I got a lot of drops from advanced raids and from Darkfire and from the cat keys, all that. I got a bunch of burns from it. So I just went ahead and burned most of those items. I didn't even burn all of them, just most of them. And I did actually get up to 11 million burner points. So that's definitely a very nice number to be at. If I did want to convert my burn points into burn scrolls and just sell them on the TP, then I would be able to get over 22,000 of them. And that would also get me right around 100 mil. Of course, another 100 mil just coming into the bank like that. And now that I'm pretty much done with everything this weekend, Sunday is coming to an end. I'm going to go ahead and start editing this video very soon. But as you can see right here, I have about 40 mil worth of items being sold. And for the final price check, I also do have 528 mil blood money, which is absolutely insane. That was completely unexpected after having about three or four days during the week where I didn't make any cash at all. And all I did was farm points for Darkfire and Advanced Raid. But I also do think I might have to start like upping the price that I owe to Bender every week because I started out the first week just barely getting the 300. Then the week after that, I got to like 450. And now I'm over here making over 500, maybe even like 550 mil in just one weekend. So I might have to adjust some rules or maybe just like double up on my payments or something like that because it's getting a bit easy. I can't lie. Not that I've gotten a lot of upgrades and skips. The kills and cash are just coming very quickly. So yeah, just let me know if you want to see some sort of updated ruling because is this is not really even coming close anymore at this point it's not even like a challenge i definitely need to do something with the blood money because 300 mil is just way too easy at this point and to finish things off a quick shout out to going solo for winning the last episode's giveaway make sure to message me in game or through discord in order to claim your 50 dollars in books